Hi guys, in this video, finally, I'm going to be answering um, questions that you have been leaving me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and in the boxes below on my other videos. Um, so, this is my first ever Q&A. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Also, before we get started, I just want to say that the video that I did last week um, really did actually come from the heart and I was feeling a little bit low. And all your lovely feedback and nice comments literally made me feel amazing. And yeah, thank you guys for leaving them. Everyone's been super sweet and it's just made me feel so much better. I think I was just having a bit of a rough run and I'm now feeling back in the game. Also, if you do hear any snoring, it's because I have a French Bulldog asleep down here. I'll wake him up towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that if you want to meet Hefe. First question. <laughs> From Dan with three N's, XO. When did you become a vegetarian and what made you decide to be one? Well, I grew up in the middle of nowhere um, and I always drove to school past fields and in the fields would be like sheep and cows and chickens and then I would go inside school and they'd be like oh today you're having lamb and I'd be like what's lamb and someone would be like well that, they're in the fields now and in my head I was like not into this um so yeah I stopped eating meat at 11 um and then I stopped eating fish at 17 then when I was 18, um, I worked out that I was 18 and had no idea what steak tastes like. I didn't, I don't think I even knew what like pork chop tasted like. So I had a year where I literally tried everything. And I'm talking everything. I was nose deep in pork scratchings and other kinds of meaty goodness. And yeah, after a year went past, I was like, actually, no, meat definitely isn't for me. Okay, question two. This is from the pop hair. Hello. Um, if I wasn't doing my current job now, what would I see myself doing? Um, I think I would definitely be in probably quite a high stress job because I'm used to working under pressure. Um, being a spray tanning expert who also does a little bit of presenting, also has a blog, I'm used to juggling quite a lot of things, so I think I would either be a chef, although I don't eat meat, so maybe I'd have to work in like a seafood restaurant, or, although actually I couldn't, I don't think I could put a lobster in the pot of boiling water and hear them be like, oh, you know, when they scream. That was me trying to scream, but I don't know if that came down that well. Um, or I think I would be a midwife. Um, I really love babies. I love the whole birth thing, like I, I think pregnancy is totally amazing and how we grow, well I don't, but females grow another human inside their womb and then birth it, it's mental. Um, and also I imagine it's quite high stress, I'm very good in a crisis, I keep, I'm one of those people that stays quite calm if things get very panicky, so maybe I would do that. However, I do quite like what I'm doing, so hopefully I won't have to choose another career option. Okay, now I'm going to take one from my Twitter. Um, this is from Tommy Gleed. Um, what's your biggest fear and why? <sighs> um, there are different types of things that I fear. Um, I think a physical fear, I'm absolutely petrified of sharks. Um, always have been. I can't really go in aquariums because I tend to have a minor meltdown. Um, in terms of metaphorical fear, I'm incredibly fearful of failing. Um, I'm on what I hope to be is an amazing path to achieving my dream. Um, and if it doesn't all work out, then all this time and energy could be potentially for nothing. Um, but I can't think like that. That's really pessimistic. So yeah, um, sharks I fear in the real world, in my head, I fear um, failure. Okay, this one made me lol. Liz Cook, you beauty. Um, have I ever had a Wigan kebab? The answer to that question is no, I haven't. I don't eat kebab meat. However, if I was in Wigan, which you never know, one day I may be, 
perhaps you could take me for a vegetarian kebab at your local establishment? Okay, now I'm going to answer a few from Instagram. I put a little post up today. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Jules Von Hepp. You who? Um, this is from underscore Eva MB underscore. Um, she asked three on the trot, so I'm going to just blast through her questions. Um, first one is, what is your favourite colour? My favourite colour is green. It looks great on me as an ensemble colour. Um, I also love nature, that's full of green, and I really like green in every shade. Mint, emerald, sage, you know, all those kind of things. <laughs> Next one, how is your love life? Absolutely fantastic, darling, thanks for asking. And last one, what is your favourite song? With a heart emoji. Oh, I love a heart emoji. Um, my favourite song in the world is Joni Mitchell, I Could Drink A Case Of You. Um, I love that because the lyrics are about being so intoxicated with someone and you just can't get enough. I also really love Elton John, Are You Ready For Love? That song has so many happy memories. Um, I remember sitting on the back of a bus on the way to a night out when I was like 17. I think we were drinking oh, WKD Blue at the back of a bus. Classy. And my friends and I all just belted that out singing it and the bus driver turned it on the radio and turned it up. Legend. Another one from Instagram. Um, this is from JM Sings. I kind of want to be like Jim Sings, but you don't look like a Jim. You look like a JM Sings. Um, your hair is amazing. Thanks, darling. Um, when did you decide to dye it? Well, I dyed it for wilderness purely on a whim. I had vowed to myself that I would never go blonde again. This year I decided to go blonde. Um, and it stuck. I really like this um, silvery texture and colour that my hairdresser has done. I have it done by um, a guy called Michael Rowan who I met through my best friend and sister from another mister, um, Sarah Cox. He does her hair, so now he does mine. Winner! Okay, there is one person here who is questioning my geography knowledge. Josh is brilliantly amazing. Um, do you know the difference between Sardinia and Santorini? Yes. Obviously. Santorini is mega chic and in Greece and Sardinia I have no idea about. <laughs> Back to Instagram, on busy Instagram. Um, this is from Ruby Cod, two Ds. Well, she's gone mental too on the question asking. Okay, what's your favorite thing to do on a Friday night? Loads of sticky out tongues. Um, well, sweet pea, I always stay on on a Friday night. I don't really like going out because I love going out Saturday nights. Um, my boyfriend and I have a routine where we stay in on Fridays, we listen to Annie Mac on the radio, we share a bottle of red, and we cook dinner and we just hang out with each other. Sometimes we maybe have two bottles of wine and we dance around the kitchen, but it's our time and I will never ever go out on a Friday night as long as I'm with him. Okay, there you go, Q&A done. Hopefully my answers weren't disappointing and you actually enjoyed them. Um, I'm getting a flash from a red light saying my camera battery is low, so I'm gonna try and rattle through this. Um, Please leave me more comments, tell me if you liked this video or give me a thumbs up because it, honestly I read it and at the moment it's so nice to read feedback. Um, next week, hopefully, I'm going to try and do a video on how the things that I've learned from my celebrity clients in terms of their beauty routines. Um, that comes from, the idea from that comes from Michaela1801. Your comment has inspired me to do a video. Thank you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Have a little look on my Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. It's all at Jules Von Hepp. My blog is JulesHeptonStore.com and get ready to meet Hefe. Hi! Okay, this is Hefe. Hefe's staying with me for a few weeks, aren't you? Yes. He's just woken up so he's feeling, <laughs> look, look how uh, shady he's feeling. Oh. Anyway, bye from us. See you later. Bye! Bye.